Fußball in Spain thought, and it's always been our idea, that you couldn't promote really food without doing a competition to do with cooking. Um, and as it is for the last 20 years, Foods and Wines from Spain have been promoting uh, cookery, gastronomy in general. So we thought three years ago there would be a very good idea to run a competition and to see how people in the UK, chefs and young chefs in the UK, could really deal with Spanish ingredients and with the influence that it was coming from Spanish gastronomy. Yeah, the, the, these competitions work, the, the longer they go on, they get a reputation for something and the, the competitors know what they should be doing. And I think um, as, ta as time moves on, the quality and the standard just goes up and up. brilliant produce, brilliant way of presenting the produce, brilliant knowledge and that's what we're looking for in this. What we're looking for is that people understand about Spanish foods, that they're a good ambassador for Spanish foods and that they, they take that on in their careers and in their menus. You know, after all what we have here is the future chefs of tomorrow. Yeah, it doesn't matter what country they're in, yeah, they are the future chefs and we hope that they'll carry that knowledge that they basically have here with us in this competition with them throughout their lifetime. And I'm amazed by the calmness in the kitchen. Um, all these, um, all the entrants are under 25. Some are still at college. Some are working in restaurants. But I am very impressed with the way they can work in a very small space.
think the standards at each year it's got better. This year the um, level of skills the young chefs are doing has improved I think. Um, there's some interesting techniques going on. There's not too many foams and emulsions which is not a bad thing. Uh, but there's some interesting things that I think you can, because from these competitions you can also learn things even as a senior person. You learn some nice stuff. So I've seen some interesting salmon cannelloni happening and there's some lovely kind of like a boudin being poached out the back. Some simple dishes, some really complicated ones. Um, it's looking good actually. I'm a food stylist and a food writer and I'm very keen on the look of food. Um, having said that, I want, I want the uh, contestants to present their food nicely but over and above that it must taste nice because that is what anybody wants when they eat food. They want to enjoy the flavour. So with no further ado, let me tell you who are the winners, and we're going to do this in reverse order. The third is Michelle. In second place today has been William. And the winner is Mandy. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Spain. Um, it's been a great dream to go to Spain. So, yeah, I can't, can't wait. Really excited. So. <laughs>